Okay. All right, Matthew, uh, just your takeaways from today. Uh, you were right there all the way up till the end. Yeah, I mean, I, I kind of went with the, with the mindset that we weren't going to look at any leaderboards today, not for the fact of trying not to know where you are, but my whole goal was to finish 18 holes and enjoy the walk. And the better I could do at that, I thought the better I would play, and I didn't really care how I played. I just wanted to I just want to keep building on what I've been building on this week. Is it difficult from a competitive standpoint if you're a competitive person to not know where your status is? On the, no, on the... I just I don't think it really helps that much. Like you can feel the vibe of the crowd. You can feel I can at least. I don't. I'm sure a lot of people can as well. Mm-hmm. But I, mean, I birdied. I birdied 17, and I know I wasn't leading the golf tournament after birdie in 17. Um, maybe had a chance to if I birdied 18. So I was just like, I'm going to try and make two, three, but I'm not going to try and force something in there to hit it to two feet and change my game plan a whole hell of a lot to just try and force something that may or may not happen. I just want to get in there and do the best I can at where I'm at play and hit good shots and see where we end up now if you want to if you want to take some chances on 18 fairway fine by me but the shot into the shot into 17 was exactly where I was aiming I wasn't trying to hit it to two feet I wasn't trying to do anything crazy I just hit a good shot hit it where I was looking had a good look at birdie and made the putt how, how good did the putt look at 18 man it was it looked very good <laughs> it looked a little high the entire way but when it started to slow down it started breaking more than I thought it was going to so it looked really good for a minute. Had a chance for sure. In this new mindset that you came with this week, obviously very successful with it. Was it hard to stick with that down the stretch? Oh, of the, course. Yeah? You can't. You can't have your cake and eat it too. Yeah. You know, like if I'm going to go out there and say that I'm okay with with failure and I'm okay with playing bad, then I got to live by that example as well. So I went out there today and I was completely okay with if I went out there and shot 78. And, I, and it's hard. I mean, it's even harder when you're starting to play some good golf. That's the hard part. You know, you can't get in there and have a chance for to tie the lead on 18 or birdie in 17 and then start to care because that's not what got me there. So I'm just going to continue and build on this on this mindset and try and, and try and figure it out. I mean, it's fairly early on, and but I'm, I'm glad I finally got out of my way for a little while. Good. All right. Nice awesome. Thanks, Matthew. Thank you all.